Today we talk about understanding the La Passion Kit. Hello legends and super legends, welcome to Bella Harmony. I wanted to follow up my comments that I made in the last live session about La Passion and just kind of clarify that I'm not anti one company versus the next, just in case that was implied. Um, I think those of you that attended the session probably got it based on what I was intending, but this is just to memorialize what I mean. I'm wearing La Passion's kit here. I don't have a problem with La Passion stuff as a matter of fact, but the issue I raised in the live session was that they imply before you even get their stuff that they're at a certain level and so you set certain expectations and then when you get it you've already set maybe an unreasonable expectation of where you think their garment should be in in terms of the comparison with another company per se and then when it comes if it's not there i think they actually are doing a disservice to themselves that's what i meant i like their kit they're decent what i talked about was i had a problem with just one of the stuff that i tried I also talk about how difficult it is to try their stuff because you, the return process costs you money. You gotta pay to return. So you end up losing money on the transaction. So you're not as eager or as willing to try versus some of the other guys who cover free returns. So I can try more of this stuff. That's why you have not seen as much of the, the, the number of reviews compared to say Rafa, for example. And it's the same thing with, with Castelli. I can't buy their stuff to try because it will cost me money to return it, you know. So what I wanted to talk about was what I discussed in the live session, the two jerseys that I tried. What I'm wearing here is called the PSM Lightweight Jersey. And as you can see, the middle is very, very thin, okay. This is perfect for hot, humid weather. The back is also thin, so it's very breathable. I'm wearing it with, let me back up, with the La Passion PSM Short. I'm not sure if this is the PSN or just their regular classic short anyway. Um, because of what they had implied on their website when you go and you read and they say, oh, you know, we don't sponsor, we don't do this, so we bring our products to you at a lower price. That may be true, but when you try to set an expectation so high by doing certain comparisons and the product comes and it's not exactly the same, because no two products are the same, and I don't want them to be. I like the differences. So let's talk about this jersey, for example. This PSN lightweight jersey is a size large, same size as I wear Rafa and Giordana and other things. So their sizing I like because even though it's an Italian company, their sizing is not small compared like, like uh, Castelli, I have to size up to an XL jersey for it to fit like this in there, race fit. The PSN jersey, the lightweight PS, PSN lightweight jersey that you see here, is cut to fit your body, lightweight. I really like that, it's very tight around the waist, all good. Now, the pockets in this lightweight jersey, very, very good, they function. Uh, in fact, I'm about to go on a ride, and so this is what I normally carry. I'm, I'm not gonna put it in this other pocket because I've got my microphone back there for this recording, but I just wanna show you, that's my, my essentials kit, my pump, and whatever else I carry, I'm gonna put it in here. You can see, very solid. That's the way it's supposed to fit. Let me get, uh, I'm just gonna get two things, and I'm not taking a lot on this ride. But it doesn't matter how much stuff I put in here. I have another review of this jersey in another color that I will release on the channel, and you will see the pockets fully loaded. But this is just a demo. This is the way cycling jerseys should fit your body. Don't settle for anything less. Size it, size correctly when you load up the pockets, when you put stuff in the pockets and you're moving, there should be no movement. This is on my body. My whole body's moving. The pockets are not moving independently because La Passion has elastic in the, the bottom of the jersey that keeps it in place. And it comes up under here to really keep it on you. As you load up the pocket, the pockets lift. That's the way they should look. Unfortunately, their standard PSN jersey, which they say is for all weather, I respectfully disagree because this is like a midweight fabric. 
This is great in the fall through winter into spring. Winter, we know with base layers. Summer, hot and humid, this will just get soaked. It's not as comfortable, it's nowhere near it. This is perfect for the summers we have here. Like if you live in a tropical area where it's humid. You can you could wear this in the UK pretty much all year round. It would work because it's mild, you know, uh, 24, 25C. When it starts approaching 30C, this jersey is uncomfortable. This jersey thrives. Even up to 40C or more, this jersey will work great. The, the air just goes through it while you're moving. This jersey's fabric is very stretchy. See that? But it does not rebound like this. This is like a snappier fabric. That's the main difference. And I think that's why the pockets don't hold. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to see if I can slip this over this jersey because I'm going on a ride and I don't want to take this jersey off. So what I'm going to do, you've seen how this looks. I'm going to take it out of the pocket here. They're both the same size jersey. And whatever material they're using in this PSN, I'm not sure what the name, what they call it. Let me see if it's on the label because there's something specific about this that makes it's a it's a it's like a a fabric that gives because the other jerseys they have don't have that problem. So I want to really qualify the name of this. I will look it up. And as I do the edits, I will put the name in the text for this jersey because there's something unique about this jersey that makes it not have supported, supportive pockets. It's almost like, uh, it's hard to describe it. It's, uh, I don't know, I wouldn't call it rubbery. It fits really well, but the, the fabric gives too much. When stretched, it doesn't snap back. It's almost like an elastic band that does not have a lot of tightness in it. That's the best way I can describe it. So as you see, fits me well. I love the colors. You know, you guys know orange is my favorite. That's why I got this one with an orange band. But look what happens when you put stuff in the pocket. Because of the kind of fabric it is, when you start to ride, this is what happens. That's what happens during the ride. And you see, I can do that. Look, look at that. Look, look, yeah, look, look where it is. That's what happened. So as you move, look at, yeah, see that stuff moving in the pocket? I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna take it off and I'm gonna put the very same thing in the other jersey underneath it and do the same motion so you can see what I'm talking about. And now I'll, I'll get the name of this jersey off their site and put it in the review so you can know whether you wanna take the chance. I can still use this jersey, I just don't put a lot of stuff in the pocket, I guess. You know, I love the color. They have beautiful colors. They got orange and other things. I couldn't get my hands on the orange because they had sold out. I think they call it a PSN all season jersey. I got to get the name. So I'm doing the same thing now with this jersey. This is the lightweight jersey. Look at the pocket. No movement. That's what I'm talking about. That's my biggest gripe on that jersey. So, overall, I feel that a lot of students should stop trying to compare themselves with other people, whoever they imply them to be, just sell their products, because their, their products are good, but when you set the bar so high and then we get the products and we're underwhelmed, it dulls the experience. So it's good to have varying levels. You don't need to have top kit for all your kit. So you know when they have sales, they have really great sales, so you can get nice kit that will work. But it's not the same. Nothing, no two things are the same. And they just need to stop that and focus on the merits of the stuff. That's what I was trying to imply. So this is the La Passion PSN lightweight jersey. Perfect for hot, humid weather. Works really well. It's got a seed. Needs a lot of care. You need to use a garment bag or hand wash. Otherwise, this will start to unravel. I made the mistake with my orange one and I put it in the washing machine and one wash and it started unraveling and it just ruins the jersey. So they have it on their site, but it's in small print and it's hard to see. So just be aware that PSN lightweight jersey needs tender care. Put it in a garment bag, preferably separately, or unless you're putting it with like garments, or just hand wash them. You know, you're just trying to get order out of it. The, the shorts, my issue is that since they set the comparison like I was talking about, I expected it to feel just like the protein shorts. They're not the same. 
And so once they, if they stop that, then you don't have that expectation. So overall, the shorts are decent. They're not the quality of the other guys because they, they're different shorts. And that's okay to have different shorts. But stop comparing them to something that is not. In their own right, they're nice shorts. They got nice, uh, the chamois good. Um, they're kind of medium thickness, but they're in the right spot. So the quality is there. The Lycra feels a little rubbery than I'm used to compared to the other ones, but it's okay. It holds, once you get it set, it holds this position. So I just wanted to clear the air with that. I've got other reviews coming with La Passion product that I think you will enjoy. And we need the variety. I'm just gonna set the bar going forward to just make sure that I review each thing on its own merit. To that effect, make sure nothing stops you from getting your K's in.